Elf Quest, the original quest, issue two, Raid at Sorrow's End, part two. Dawn approaches. The wolf riders prepare to survive the day in the shade of a pillar of rock. The dunes are behind them, and now the stony desert floor presents an even harder path to cross. Mountains are beautiful in this light. So near, yet so far. We'll make it. We have to. For many, hope is all that sustains them through that second terrible day. And by evening, there is one for whom little hope is left. At last. Time to go. No. Cutter. You know as well as I that I must stay here. He can't ride my chief. And I won't leave him. Nightfall. Shh. It's decided. Forgive me. If I had killed that old man when I had the chance, none of this would have happened. We are hunters, Cutter, not murderers. It has always been our way to respect life. Please. I don't want that to change. No matter what happens. I'll come back for both of you, I promise. We'll be here waiting, Cutter. That is my promise. Oh. Hush, beloved. Oh! Wolf Riders! We face the final trial. When next we rest, it will be in the foothills at Sorrow's End. Sorrow's End, a name aptly chosen. For somehow, though two of the faithful wolves drop dead in their tracks. <laughs> and several exhausted riders must be strapped to their mounts. The wolf riders reach the mountains. Among the rocks there is shade, and here, wonderfully strange plants unlike any Cutter's folk have ever seen, seem to thrive without any source of moisture. Ow! Damn it! What? It's wet. <laughs> leave it to Cutter! He found us plants that saw their own water. Thanks. Moments later. Ugh, Cutter. Will you please collapse? You're entitled. Not yet. The juice from those sticker plants is not enough for us. Mm, Alright. I suppose you won't sit still till you've found us a blasted waterfall. Cutter and Skywise prowl the rocky foothills and search for a hidden wellspring. For a moment, they separate as Skywise pauses to examine his sorely reddened skin. Sunburn is something new to him. If you must stay here a while, I'll have Moonshade make me a shirt with a hood. This land is like a bad dreamberry vision. How can any creature bigger than a lizard survive here? Glancing from his exhausted tribe boat to the bleak horizon, Skywise shakes his head doubtfully. But at a mental cry from Cutter, all else is forgotten. Skywise, up here, quickly! What is it? What? <clears throat> Fuck. I can't believe it! Who could have known? Elves! Just like us! No, not like us, Skywise. They seem more like humans than me. They have no wolves, no tree dens. They live in the sun as men do. I don't trust them. You don't think they'd help us if we ask? We're not gonna ask. We learned a hard lesson from the trolls. From now on, the wolf riders take what they need, and no reasons given. While Cutter makes his plans, the unsuspecting villagers go peacefully about their daily routine. How long will you torment me? Hayek, <laughs> <laughs> please! You'll make me spill the water! I have asked you to be my life mate. Any maiden here would say yes. Why pursue me, my arrogant one? Because you are the only one worth having. <laughs> You're holding me too tight. Let me catch my breath and I'll give you an answer. Very well then. I release you. Well, leave them. <laughs> Yeah! It is true that 
Desperation gives rise to desperation. Sometimes, sadly, even when there's no need. But the Wolf Riders know nothing of civilized ways. My bread! My fresh break bread! Or of trust for strange elves whose existence they had not even imagined. Never point a weapon, Black Hair. Unless you know how to use it. <clears throat> Yet, though driven by savage hunger and half mad with thirst, Cutter is brought up short. By a pair of glittering eyes as green and as fresh as young leaves, the maiden stands rigid, fear and wonder playing across her exquisite features. Whoa. And Cutter suddenly knows a different kind of thirst as he drinks in the sight of her. Whoa. What do you want? Lita! As swiftly as they descended moments ago, the wolf riders sweep to Cutter's side, laden with all the food and drink they are able to carry. Woo! Uh, excuse me, but it doesn't look like you're carrying much water. Huh? Oh. I'll explain later. What? On higher ground. Recovering from their shock at the unexpected attack, the villagers prepare to retaliate. Someone tell me what has happened. I hear strange voices shouting. Barbarians, sun touch. Riding huge fang beasts. They've taken me. My daughter. Save her, Rick. You must. That same moment, far away. Oh. I slept. The shadows have grown longer. As she rubs her eyes awake, Nightfall notices the tracks left behind by her desperate people. Wistfully, her gaze follows the trail until it disappears in the fume royal distance. The mountains beckon and taunt from afar. Cutter, my chief friend, he left us his own water skin. Does he still live? Did he reach the mountains in time? Or are all the wolf riders as drained and dry as this? Take the last drop, beloved. Stay with me, just a while longer. I know where you are going. I know it may be soon. But do you remember? Friend of my body and spirit? <laughs> remember? Keep you in more than my memories. Give me your soul name, and I will give you mine. Take it, take it now, and we'll be joined beyond death. There is no warmth, no answering light. He is sunk into a dark pit to escape pain and await the end. But I'll end it myself when I finally know there's no hope left. <laughs> 